all living organisms need to consume energy to stay alive. This makes life a non-equilibrium phenomenon. The ability to develop synthetic matter that requires energy to function gives access to innovative materials with lifelike properties. Researchers have now developed a material that needs a continuous supply of energy to remain catalytically active. A hydrogel is a three-dimensional network of polymers that contains a large amount of water. Hydrogels were prepared containing three components. Gold nanoparticles, substrate and azobenzene, which is a molecule that changes shape when irradiated with light. The gold nanoparticles can catalyze the conversion of substrate in product in a very similar way as enzymes do in nature. However, catalysis is prevented because azobenzene molecules are bound to the nanoparticles. Upon irradiation of the hydrogel with light, azobenzene changes shape and is liberated from the nanoparticles. This allows the substrate to bind to the nanoparticles and catalysis starts. When the light is turned off, Azobenzene spontaneously returns to the original shape and catalysis stops. A new situation occurs when the same hydrogel is locally irradiated through a mask. Only where the light hits the material, azobenzene changes shape and catalysis starts. Importantly, this creates concentration gradients in the hydrogel, which leads to the diffusion of molecules. Activated azobenzene molecules move away from the center and trigger catalysis elsewhere. However, in the absence of light, they slowly return to the original shape and diffuse back to the center. The local conversion of substrate into product in the light-activated center of the gel causes the diffusion of product molecules away from the center and the diffusion of new substrate molecules towards the center. The presence of persistent concentration gradients maintained by light are characteristic of non-equilibrium material. The researchers then compared the overall catalytic performance of this hydrogel with another hydrogel in which diffusion cannot take place. This study showed that the same amount of energy was able to induce a higher catalytic activity in the non-equilibrium material. This result represents a step forward towards functional energy-consuming synthetic systems.